Well, I got to throw a little shout out to uh, Don Harold from the day trading show. And I tell you the truth, he's using a little more common sense than a lot of people out there, man. Unless, I don't know. Like, I don't like tell you flat out, I don't trust Max Kaiser at all. Because now after, you know, I've seen the deal, what happened with uh, buy silver break JP Morgan. And, you know, actually on the news unit, actually he pointed out that one of the bullet, you know, you know, he's a little... He gets up there and down there and emotional, but about prices. But you point out one of those bullion dealers around by him said it would never go over 50. You know, but everybody else that was into silver, you know, the main ones that pumped the metal, they said it was going to go way over 50. So now there's a rumor out there, and I wasn't aware of this till like last night. Which, you know, it was pointing out to me that Gainesville site was down and stuff, but. I don't know, sometimes a website goes down. Now, I'm going to, first off, I'm going to state right this from the beginning. Something real simple. You know, it's not going to be like a global silver shortage that's going to drive the price of silver up and all this type of stuff. It's going to be a panic. It's going to be the fact that somebody is willing to pay so much for it is why the price will be that high. Sounds too damn simple, but that's exactly what it is. A lot of times it's psychology. You know, it's going to get ahead of itself. Just like, you know, when Gorbachev was a big hero in the world 20-something years ago, whatever that was, you know, the Russian leader. And they were selling Gorby dolls with, uh, you know, that funny thing he had spot on his head, the birthmark. I mean, why the hell were those stupid dolls worth so much? I mean, I don't want to make, you know, maybe that's a bad comparison to silver but it's going to get ahead of itself and it's going to be a fact that somebody's willing to pay that much is why it's going to be sold that high and just like yesterday I pointed out ain't going to be no Wall Street shark that's buying this that's going to be paying that kind of money it's going to be the middle class dumb somebody gullible so anyway it ain't going to save the world it's going to save the people's asses that are in it right now but Don Harrell did point out something very good I mean you know you know, I'm, I'm looking at, like, where the hell are these stupid rumors coming from? I saw, <laughs> give a sh you know, I don't, you know, I'll tell you, you know, I'm just telling you the flat out truth. You know, it says on here, I saw, I'm looking on a Google, you know, metal dealers, metals dealers shut down sales as silver Globex market prices feeds fluctuating by over a dollar. So everything's going haywire, so the metals dealers are shutting down sales. That's the story. Story appears on silverdoctors.com. Uh, it appears on um, Max Kaiser. I don't know, I guess Brother John F. is talking about it too, you know. And it's like, you know, once it takes off, the whole thing just takes off. And I'm going to say this. Say, for instance, the silver price, spot price dropped below 26. Say it went to 25 something. I would almost guess, take a pretty good guess, that the silver bullion dealer sales, they're going to be, it's going to be tough to find a lot of silver at that price. I think there's going to be a lot of out of, not that you're not going to be able to find any of it someplace, but there's going to be a lot of out of stock. But that doesn't mean a global supply of silver is dwindling. That means the one area of silver usage, silver coins, would be running out. That's all that would mean. What's actually going to make you the money on this is an investor panic. When people, you know, and this is typically why, why does, why does precious metals? I know it's been the money forever and ever and ever and all this kind of stuff, but why do precious metals start gump going way ahead of other assets? Let me put it that way. Not, I'm not going to get into the fundamentals and all that, but why would, you know, why would it so many golden coins buy a house one year but then you know so many years later it takes you half as many golden coins to buy a house why would that occur it's because people don't feel safe in other financial instruments that's what happens it's like it gets it can get ahead of itself and that's when you should sell for something else um, hard assets is preferably but uh, Don Harrell did uh, you know, I have to say, he pointed out something excellent on this because, you know, I I don't get into all this drama bullshit because, you know, I know any time if I wanted to buy 
more damn silver coins because I'm like you know how much of this shit you want to buy anyway you know you want to buy more damn silver coins uh, you can buy them anytime you want it's gonna be when there's a panic that's what's gonna drive it up and just watch the bullshit um, you know the other thing is the only indication I think I'm gonna tell you most people would like money will avoid silver because it's a highly fluctuating asset they don't mess around with that kind of crap they want stuff they put their money into it gives you more money soon like maybe it won't be next week but if they're gonna spend money on something you know maybe they're gonna buy some structure that they can uh, lease out to some business or something like that you know and, and they got to get some guys out there to lease you know businesses to lease out all the offices they'll, they'll spend money on capitalizing capital expenditure and improvements for some building that'll give them some money but they're not gonna buy a hunk of metal and look at it most of them won't do that now one thing I picked up on is what Mark Farber said, because I think, and I've said this a few times, but I know he's over 25% invested in physical gold. Now he's talking like they could drive the gold price down because the money isn't actually getting into where most of the people are. It's not actually getting into the economy. It's not driving up prices. It's being held in a few select people's hands, like on a top when they print money and stuff, and they buy troubled assets from banks and stuff. I know, I know. But still, he's over 25% of gold. But, you know, the thing is, what gives me a lot of faith in this investment, because, like, before he was 25% in gold, it was just one little minute <laughs> that I picked it out. But, man, I got, like, laser vision on this. He said many of his friends that, you know, are wealthy Jewish business and businessmen, they, uh, they're heavily invested in precious metals, more than 25%, or the, in related industries and stocks in those industries. That's why I know it's going to play out, too. You know, it's big, you know. Trust those guys, man. The, the sharp ones. Those guys know what's going on. It is going to play out. But if you don't sell it at the right time, you're screwed. But just watch all these freaking rumors. Um, people, these rumors are probably going to be great, though. That's really what's... <laughs> in other words, you want the rumors, but you don't want to believe in them. I almost have to say that because this is basically a message for the few. Uh, you want the rumors, but you don't want to believe the bullshit yourself because the rumors and the fear is what's going to cause people to buy like crazy. Especially, and you know who that's going to be the middle class. It isn't going to be the sharp investors buying silver like at $150 an ounce and shit because it's the only way to save your money. It's going to be the middle class. So all these rumors that scare the crap out of people are actually bullish for the metals. They're not freaking helping the middle class in general. They're probably hurting the middle class. But the people that are smart enough to get into silver and gold early, they're helping you out. But it's good that, uh, you know, Don Harold, I, you know, I have to say, man, it's true. You know, you're looking at this, and you know, I don't know, silver doctor says metal dealers shut down sales. You know, I look on the internet, I'm just, I just popped on a few places and I'm like I don't know you could buy this stuff no problem I don't know why you would if you already have a bunch of it why would you keep buying it you know there's other things out there but uh, you know it's on Max Kaiser's site and it's you know brother John F I'm sure he's talking about it so I don't know but actually it's this type of stuff that's actually going to drive the price of the metal up because basically simple why the hell you know, why is the price going to be so high? It's because somebody is going to pay that money. And if it's really way too high, why would they pay that money? It's because in their mind is a panic going on and they're all emotional and they're biting. You know, so, you know, I can't knock these silver rumors and all these drama stories because it's these silver rumors and these dramas that's going to enable me <laughs> sell this stuff nice and high to somebody who's thinking they got a great deal. Now, that's why I don't really like this shit too much, because it ain't really helping nobody, it's just helping me. But, you know, that's what's going to happen eventually, that's what's going to happen eventually. But, you know, hopefully I'll be selling it to some useless bureaucrat that's a piece of crap or something, or maybe a, 
Maybe I could sell my silver to a psychiatrist <laughs> that made a lot of money on prescribing things to people and messing them up or some shit. And, you know, making 400 bucks an hour, freaking sitting there listening to somebody's problem or some shit. And I'll sell him silver for $1,000 an ounce so, or her, you know, whatever. So I don't feel guilty about doing that. But actually, I, you wouldn't want to sell it to some hard working stiff that's getting uh, a load of bullshit. So it's the rumors and a drama that's going to drive the price up. In a way, these rumors and drama are very good for some people. For most people, they're not good. And uh, it's going to be fear when there's really problems in the financial markets and people lose all their money because they had it in bonds and stuff. The metals are going to look brighter and brighter and brighter. And it's a simple age-old principle, really. What happens? What happens? In times of major turmoil, major strife in the world, stuff like commodities, gold, silver, and oil go up. So, you know... Don Harold was good on pointing this stuff out, though, because uh, I don't know how these rumors start, man. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be one fact that made it like metals dealer shuts down sales as silver globex markets prices fluctuate by more than a dollar. And if you Google it, you'll see lines of the same story being picked up all over the investment silver world. It's a pile of bullshit. So I don't know. Maybe I should keep my mouth shut because I'm going to probably know when to sell and I need a bunch of people to sell too. So that's what's going to happen. Anyway, I have to say that old Don Harold is uh, quite a bit more honest than a lot of the other people out there because this is a true observation. I have to say that. So that's how it is.